On today's How To Do series on ID Med Health, I'll be showing you how you can check your HIV status from the comfort of your home using a HIV test strip. Okay, and this one we'll be using Determine HIV Test Strip by Abbott. All right, in our previous video, we made mention of or we discussed uh, how you can check it using an aura pick uh, device. It was painless and so just feel free to go back and watch it, okay? So today, I will be showing you simple steps, simple steps. So for this, no need, you already know that HIV can stay in your bloodstream for more than 10 years without showing any sign or symptoms. All right, that's why it's very, very important to get yourself checked so that if you are positive, you start taking your medication in order not to, you know, keep transmitting it to others or spreading it. All right, and then most importantly, you can live healthier if you detect HIV on time. If you effectively take your medications, it will not progress to AIDS. All right, that's why uh, early detection is key to prevention of HIV or prevention of AIDS. All right, so uh, for this test, I'll be needing um, a test strip. All right, this one, two, three, four, five. I'm having five uh, test strips, but I will be making use of just one. And most importantly, before you use any uh, medical device, do well to check the aspiring date. Okay, from here, you can see it. This one will be expiring um, on 17th July, 2024. Also, I will be needing a buffer solution. All right. You equally check the expiring dates. This is my buffer solution. And this one is will expire in 2027. Okay. I might decide to use a uh, capillary tube or not. Most times, I don't like using this. Then I need uh, a lancet. Okay, I have over 100 of it. Just, I need one. Then I would need a swab, but since I don't have, I can, I will make use of a methylated spirit and a cotton wool. All right. So first I would, bring out the one I want to use. All right. I will be using only one. So pay close attention. Okay, it's very easy and simple to use. Then um, I would have to prick my I would have to prick my uh, thumb to get blood. You can prick anywhere, but I prefer to prick my thumb. All right. Okay, I would use my methylated spirit since I'm not having any swap. Okay, I'm using here. I will massage a bit. I will clean. And then allow it to dry. All right. I will allow it to dry before I prick. Okay. So let's uh, open our strip. All right. This is how you open. This is how you open. Okay, from here, you can open it from the edge. You hold, you hold here and pull. Okay. Then it's equally essential you note this. Okay, each test strip is marked. Each of the test strips you open would have mark or number. All right, maybe if you are running uh, multiple tests on different individuals. All right, that's where that is very relevant. 
so um my thumb is right okay so i will make use of Hands my sets. okay so i will open so i will pre all right most people say clean the first blood but then does not really matter okay what matters is there is blood and it's enough for the test all right then i will take this sometimes i do use capillary but for the sake of this let me use it because most people are not usually exposed to having capillaries at home all right the blood is enough i open my uh buffer solution add add the drop okay then from here you will see um this arrow there is an arrow here pointing it should go down okay you can see this arrow here so let's watch and wait we are going to wait for 20 minutes okay before we can take our readings from this test strip okay you will notice there is a control and there is uh, a patient does the test uh, segment the second one all right from what i'm seeing here my control has read one line okay has read one line to really confirm my hiv status i must wait for 20 minutes okay so uh, by then if i see a second line here that means i'm positive so if it's only this one line that means i'm negative and in a case there is no line at all both in the control and in the test segments that means the the test or my procedure was wrong or something happened okay so in such situation i will you know rerun my test to really confirm my status but for now let's wait for 20 minutes thank you we have waited for 20 minutes i know you want to see my results all right um negative so from this you can see it's just one line okay on the control segment that means i'm negative so every three months i would is advice i check my status depending on my exposure okay so this is the simplest way you can or one of the simple ways you can check your status from the comfort of your home all right previously we made mention of uh oracle so you can go check our previous video on how you can check with oracle that one does not require you you know pricking your uh fingers to get uh, blood for the test all right so that one is bloodless so i know you got value do well to share with your loved ones and don't forget that hiv is not a death sentence all right thank you very much subscribe turn on your notification bell then follow us on all our social media handles we are really doing great okay thank you once more ideal med health creating a healthy world